Hello my friends and welcome to episode 18 uh, of the Kirkland Let's Play on Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. Last episode we vassalised uh, Cumbra through no peaceful means and we vassalised uh, these guys here, the Forteru, through no peaceful means as well. We're working on our short kingdom victory because we want to change the faction name from Kirk Crane to probably another name that I can't pronounce or spell. Um, we're moving this army here because we're going to take on Strathclue. I'm going to move this army across to here. It's going to take a few turns to get there. And we're moving these armies south as well in preparation for that. Uh, we'll get right down here with you. And with you, can we get down here? Yes, we just probably could. Um, and then we can hit them from multiple angles, is what I'm thinking. And so if we take you down to Skoneg, uh, that's going to make a lot more sense. I'll take you to Aberconeg. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hit you to Skoneg as well. Um, and I'll get one of them into Edinburgh to swing this way, and one of them into Aberconeg to swing that way. Um, they've got two major armies, so if we can defeat both of them quite quickly, we are in great shape against them. We can't go for Badenburg, because if we do, oh, we should have been building there. If we do, we complete a province, and we do not want to be completing provinces right now, uh, unfortunately. Uh, that would be bad for business, in terms of what we need to do for our victories, because that would bring us into... Uh, our conquest victory rather than our kingdom victory which we are focusing on so this episode is going to be about continually improving this economy we're working on scone quite well that's going really well for us and we're starting to work on the doing for our province as well sort of knocking it down province by province uh, so we'll do done for our next and then we'll do edinburgh we've got another noble birth uh, that's not what i want to click on uh, this is who's it that's had so another baby for Custing, he's very, very active him. Very, very active, our governor. And we've got you. I wonder, Strathclue. Uh, arranged marriage. He is for the heir, so we'll offer that. Insulting. Okay, no worries then. If you find that insulting, then I'm happy with that. Um, anyone else that we could maybe try and sweet talk with a wedding? You're sufficient. And payments. We've got a lot of money right now because we didn't build the last turn. Um, is there anyone that's actually fairly weak? Regions. Um, Ellenborg, we're not going to go near them. Vefidar, see if we can get them. Oh, you're already a vassal kingdom. Ignore that then. East Angle, nope. Gwynedd. That's a king. Intriguing. Uh, you will become my vassal. Insulting and offer payment of the maximum amount ah, so we can't even get them so never mind we've got a rank up for our governor we'll give you scribe and we'll continue on then uh, if we upgrade this we can research that chain so we can increase this this and this this turn that'll get this really going uh, at doing for either and then we can get this next turn. Um, get you down there. Just going to get you into scone just now. And don't take attrition because we've got the build in here that helps with that. Uh, this uh, little bad boy. We've got so much food, but we've got nothing in the way of 
money really to have armies to justify that food. Um, which is okay. It's just not the most ideal thing in the world. It just means it's going to take us a little while longer than planned to do things. Uh, we've got use up here and we'll be moving use across as well up to Rochester. So, so we can get you up there quickly. We've got this uh, sorted. So, what do you do? That's like you do. So, that was plus range. And yeah, we're not going for that just now. Uh, civic leadership, no. 50% road development or the villa estate. or That might be an interesting one to go for. We're going to go for this one first. Um, get that sorted. We've got nothing to build in Scone. Have we got anything to build up here? Yes, we do. We've got that thing that I said we're going to build a stern, actually. That's going to take a good while to build, though. Um, what's our build process here? So we're one turn away from the church, everything else, and we're one turn away from the blacksmith as well. So that's going to increase our income just a little bit next turn. Uh, if we go up here, can we get you down to Scone? Uh, yeah, we'll just get you to here just now. And we'll get you in a Sconin as well. Get you both coming south because that will give us uh, pronged attacks, which I like. So we can attack them from here, hit here, hit here. Move you down to here quite quickly, get you up to here. Um, get you going into Govan. So I actually get you into Aberkirk and then you can come across and go to Alclute and actually just leave them that province there actually. So we can actually do this really really quickly as long as we win these battles against our big armies. Um, Strathclute is obviously playable so I expect them to have some decent units. Not really looked into that too much. Uh, if I'm honest. Um, But they've only got those two armies, and if we are hitting that and that, that should take out something. We can hit that at the same time. I know Outcloot's food. Um, I'm not sure what the rest are. Oh, that's a rebel province just been taken. Northeast of Britannia. Uh oh. Uh oh. We need to keep an eye on that. We need to keep an eye on that. Um, do we. Even upgrade Aberdon right now. I don't think we do. We'll upgrade Deer. But no, we're not. We're not going to upgrade any of that. That's really not good. So we'll come down here and we'll upgrade. So you've got market, industry, food, and church. We're going to go with the blacksmith again. Or do we go with the toolmaker? 10%, 10%. And tradable from all industry villages in this province. So what are you creating? So, okay, we'll go with the toolmaker. I think that makes some sense. Uh, we'll go to Scone, we'll upgrade you and upgrade you. That's level 5 now, so that can't be upgraded anymore. Uh, that leaves us with 500 in the kitty. Get you up to here. And we will recruit uh, one of these. Uh, get him back into the army um, and we'll move you just up here like so uh, we've got a level up somewhere you're a champion a uh, general so we'll give you champion it's uh, that's storing away that's now it's zero happiness so that's good um but we're going to be more from minus six though never ideal yeah, we are rank 3 in the world I'm not sure who rank 2 is I know Northumbria's rank 1 um, you're sitting there and 
this province is still unhappy, right? But that's not an issue, to be honest. We'd love to upgrade this, but we honestly can't. We'll get you into here. We'll get you into out here. And again, can we recruit anything here? We'll recruit one of them. Um, and we'll continue on because we can't do anything more this turn with this or any other army. Govan looks like it's going to be one mean battle because it looks strong. 16 stack army sat in it. Hopefully, we can lure them out, make that just a touch easier. In fact, that's an 18 stack now. Um, and we need to keep an eye on what these raiders are doing because we have a lot of coastlines, particularly in the northeast of Scotland. In fact, they're coming straight for us, which is just lovely. Who are these guys? Who did who just declared war on us? Haddon. Oh, god damn it! Right. Um, I guess you're coming back up then. No, I kind of need you down here. Ugh, sausages. Right, let's recruit, um, recruit two of these and one of these. Um, oh, I need to be so quick down here. So we've got nothing up north to defend. Uh, it'll give us a scribe. I'm kind of hoping that they just go straight for Dunfoydar because I know I can defend that, but I think they're going to go for Aberdon. We can't hit, Mel hit Melrose with them. So can we go in here and recruit because we're allied? No, we can't. Okay, so, what are you? You are Strathclue, Dean Price, is that correct? So you're gonna give us market uh, and food production and you're gonna give us industry. It's kinda helpful. Uh, are we set? We are really, we need to do this quickly, so. Uh, what we're gonna do first then is take this Declare war. Uh, oh, after breaking treaties, so no, let's not do that just now then. Let's have a look, Strathclue. We have treaties. Uh, declare war. Is that here? I mean, it's saying it should be fine, so just give me a warning. But we are up to trustworthy, so that's fine. So we'll take this. And we'll move you up to deal with you. And we will fight this manually. Does night attack change anything? Nope. Um, they've got few archers, levymen, a lot of horsemen, they've actually got a lot of horses, um, but they're all scout horsemen, so they shouldn't be the best. They've got a fair amount of spearmen, a fair amount of axemen, so let's get this on. We take this out, we are in good shape, very good shape. Um, and this is king versus king as well. So if we kill this king, we might be able to talk him into being a vassal straight off the bat. Um, 
and that'd be the most ideal thing in the world. I mean, the issue is, is this crossbow army is really weak. And we don't have really a whole lot of archers otherwise. For some reason, we get the city again. So, start battle. I'd like it to be dry this time. Rain, rain. Right, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Give me a spear, man. Uh, they are retreating. That's interesting. Let's edge forward just a little more. What I want to do is actually just these spearmen here go here instead of these guys. In fact, these guys now need to come across here. Just to cover off against that cavalry on the right hand side when I have spearmen. Messed up just a touch with the way I moved that though. In fact, Spearman, there, and you guys, there. Got a spearman on the flanks just to protect against these cavalry. What's your range right now? Uh, nowhere near close. Nowhere near close. In fact, they've got the aerial advantage because of the. Start getting some shots in here, come on.
Catch him, catch him, catch him. Catch him. Caught the general, yes, get in. That works for me. Done quite a bit of damage there. What's the other flank looking like? Looking okay, actually. Get them, get them, get them. Looks like we've got this, guys. Uh, but I'm pretty certain we've got this now. In battle, it was in a city, so they can't flee. Got their king as well. <clears throat> that was a great battle for us. I don't think we lost anyone either. Uh, looking at that, I mean, we did take casualties. 500. 12 we have taken wasn't including this battle in the world but I realised quite quickly that with the archers against our crossbowmen and skirmishers which were depleted in numbers we weren't going to be able to survive in a, a aerial battle we will occupy Meldos um, and we've got no repairs to do there that's good um, we had to, I'm not sure calling anyway for allies. Uh, okay. Um, that changed nothing. Got low loyalty on somebody, so who's got low loyalty and why? Uh, estates low. Pretty sure you have one. Which is about as much as anyone else. No, you don't. So I'll give you Meldos. Yeah, that solves that problem quite quickly. I want you moving to here. You're going to get to there in two turns time. Uh, unless diplomacy sufficient insult and, and payments offer payment and I will give you a wife. Should we for your king now? 
Nope. I'm not going to accept anything that doesn't involve you becoming my vassal. Just as simple as that, mate. Um, so... You're going to need to heal up. Um, do you know what? I'm going to try and get you back up to doing for you there. Uh, that's going to take a long time that way, so we'll go this way. Try and get you back up as quickly as we can. Yeah, so it's going to still take three turns to get up there. Yeah, but that will try and protect us against those raiders who hopefully go for Aberdon, but I suspect, eh, uh, for Dunfoyther, but I suspect they're going to go for Aberdon. If they go for Dunfoyther, we can defend it. If they go for Aberdon, we can't. That works for me. That move there absolutely works for me. Um, do we go for Alcloot first? Oh. Well, that's a sausage. Enter Warren Tide of Ally then. Declare more on my vassal. You not so nice person. Might actually work out okay for us though, because if we can get this city, we can get that other nation. And that can maybe get us our five. They have indeed gone for Aberdon, and they've taken it. That's bad news. Um, right, let's get you back up to Dunfoyther as quickly as we can. You're really not, but... Can't go for that one, because I'd complete our province, uh, unfortunately. We'll do that, 154. Maintain siege, please. Um, and we'll move you out to here. You're going to be able to get back, but you can't do anything else. It's going to hurt me this turn. And so you can get to Edinburgh and Aberkernig, but we can get back to Aberkernig within a turn, so that's fine. Edinburgh, you're not going to be able to take. I don't think. Uh, money wise what can we do here we can do this and this that works for me um, this game just changed completely right, they've taken this which is probably why they've declared war because that was taken by rebels and I'm pretty happy that they've done that to be honest because you know I like them having I like my vassals getting stronger um, just the timing of it's really not good for me, in all honesty. Let's see what Strat Clip's gonna do here. Okay, that works. Um, does it? I feel like we should retreat and get away from this garrison. Still going to be in range of the garrison, aren't we? Oh, you sausage. Okay. Defend. With all our lives. I mean, if we go to this first, then we can go for Govan last, basically, is what I'm thinking. <sighs> Just sucks that our retreat kept us in range of the garrison. That really hasn't worked out for us. I mean, we've got decent archers here, so hopefully they're going to come to us. Uh, say archers, we've got archers and crossbowmen uh, which don't have as good range so what we want to do is let's, is our high ground all the way up here? yes it is so we'll go with spears swords on one side 
axis axis on the other um, archers and skirmishers right in behind and then our general and cavalry in some trees somewhere you should be so kind start battle fast forward hopefully they'll come to me they are indeed going to come to me I've got horsemen on the flank in fact on both flanks so let's just go dink dink Recreate our flat our situation. They're coming uphill to get to us, so hopefully we're going to have an advantage with that. Uh, fast forward again, please. this as a formation group got the general and these horses coming out on the right and the left black blades are elite infantry on the left as well um, Let's see how they're coming up. So they're fresh, so they're walking just now. And we've taken the high ground, so that works for me. What I kind of want to do is just go with this formation group and just not do that. Oh, well, that's why. And just move it ever so slightly like that nope 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 actually having these rocks right behind us will help us as well it's kind of working right now for us I think it's gonna be harder for them because they can't get behind us now with these rocks. Our cavalry is across here. And it's not the best cavalry in the world. Wait. Right, cavalry, out, get these guys. Oh, archers, get you out of skirmish. I want you to focus fire on that Welsh levy because we're struggling against that.
Oh, they've somehow gotten behind. Oh no. Not good. That's good, that's good. I think I might have to withdraw my general here to be honest, he's taking a bit of a beating off these archers, just so many of them. No! General Fallen really doesn't help us here as well. Don't think they have much left either, swordsmen. up here archers oh, just get those archers cav you know what I want Alban Spearman why can I not select you hmm maybe try and win some of these archers in the air try and distract these archers as well
so that's all going quite well right now. So we're one in here most of the places. Apart from against this guy who's fairly even. So we just need to break them really. Let's just speed this up because I want to get rid of these guys. Well, Swordman. Uh, completely we can name. Um, we did win this battle, but it's been costly. Um, in all honesty. Uh, swordman, let's not let them return, please. And let's just get on some of these archers if we can. Come on, get them. Three of them left. I don't want them returning for another day. If at all possible. Oh, another one's all the way down here. Ever catch him in a month of Sundays? I mean, hopefully. <laughs> I don't think so. There's only one of them left. But he was definitely the guy that was giving us the hardest time yeah apparently there's more of them up here so never mind let's just end the battle uh. we only lost 590 and we've killed another king so we've killed a king and an heir in the space of five minutes basically Um, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough to get them to accept being our vassal. Which I kind of need them to do because the other war that's happened just happened right at the worst time for us. We'll take that. Um, they are red 8 stack, so... I think before we end, we're just going to end um, them. That's a complete province now as well, unfortunately. Oh, they're going for Brecon. No. Oh no, they're going for Dunekin. Ah. Sausages. This battle, or this situation here with these guys, just came right at the wrong time. And these guys. We were in such clear air. Alright, so recruitment cost. Melee. Garden province. So we'll take melee skill here um, and we will seek them out and kill this army what do you think you're doing no guess what we're going to do is just quickly sack this That'll be worth a decent amount of money for us. Uh, we'll get you up to here. And while we're at war on all fronts, we're going to end that episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hang around for the next episode, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time.